As a result of an engine failure on a cargo ship flying the Comoros flag, shipping was suspended in the Bosporus Strait. This was reported by the Department of Maritime Affairs of the Ministry of Transport of Turkey. The Sea Turtle suffered a steering failure, which is why navigation in the Bosphorus in both directions has been temporarily suspended, the statement said. This is not the first such incident this year. Earlier in January, traffic in the Bosphorus Strait was paralyzed by the Liberian-flagged oil tanker Perea. The 250-meter-long ship was stuck in the central part of the traffic lane in a north-south direction. It should be noted that shipping in the Bosphorus Strait, suspended on March 28 due to a malfunction of the Comoros-flagged cargo ship Sea Turtle, has been restored, the press service of the governor of Istanbul said on the social network X. Due to the failure of the steering control of the 80-meter vessel, which was located near the Kandili area in the Asian part of Istanbul, traffic in both directions in the strait was temporarily stopped. The cargo ship Sea Turtle was towed to a safe place. Vessel traffic in the Bosphorus Strait in the northern and southern directions has been restored, the press service said in a statement. Gemi şu an ters döndü, boğazı kilitledi, demir attı. Şu an limandaki gemiler de kaçışıyor, çarpışmadı nasıl oluyor. Şu an tam boğazın ortasında gemi yandı, akıntıya kapıldı. Tajiks in Russia fear mass deployment to war in Ukraine. In Moscow, migrants from Tajikistan are trying to avoid leaving their homes due to fears of deportation or being sent en masse to war against Ukraine following the terrorist attack at Croker City Hall, according to the New York Times, because four of the suspects detained in the attack near Moscow are Tajikistan nationals. Anti-migrant rhetoric has intensified in Russia, especially online. Xenophobia has been spreading most actively in the pages of so-called war bloggers and supporters of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, who are predominantly far-right. As a result, the Kremlin is satisfying the demands of war supporters by promising tougher actions against migrants while also trying to prevent an outbreak of inter-ethnic tension in society. According to Russian state statistics, nearly a million citizens of Tajikistan were registered in Russia last year as labor migrants. A food business manager in Moscow, where Tajiks work, told the New York Times that the sentiments resembled those of the 2000s when Muslims from the Caucasus faced widespread discrimination after terrorist attacks and the war in Chechnya. Tajiks in Moscow are so scared that they hardly go out at all, she said. They fear not only deportation, but also involved in the war in Ukraine, said 25-year-old Seydanvar, a Tajik human rights activist who recently left Moscow. Tajiks are really afraid that the Russian authorities will start sending Tajiks to the front en masse to fight as a sort of revenge against our Tajik people, he said. The Tajikistan embassy in Russia warned its citizens over the weekend not to leave their homes unless necessary, and one migrant advocate told CBC News she has received thousands of inquiries from migrants who are on high alert and in some cases facing increased racism and scrutiny from authorities. I tell them not to go to mosques now and don't visit any shopping and entertainment centers if possible, said Valentina Chupik, a lawyer who provides assistance to Central Asian migrants in Russia. People are getting detained on the street and in the subway, while Russia's economy relies on the migrants to fill jobs in the construction industry and service sector. Advocates say the population is already marginalized and faces anti-immigration sentiment which appears to have risen since the attack. Poland launches armored vehicle coalition for Ukraine. In Warsaw, the opening of a coalition of armored vehicles in support of Ukraine took place, reports the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. 
As noted by the department, during the meeting, representatives of the participating countries formulated a position on strengthening the armed forces of Ukraine with certain armored vehicle models and organizing their repair. In addition to Poland and Germany, the initiative also involves the United Kingdom, Sweden and Italy. The purpose of the Armored Vehicle Coalition is to strengthen the armored shield of the armed forces of Ukraine, jointly enhance our military capabilities in countering the Russian aggressor, ensure the effective functioning, technical maintenance and repair of equipment and weaponry provided to us by allies, said Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine Ivan Havriliuk, who led the Ukrainian delegation. Within the framework of the coalition, four syndicates have already been created. Each has been assigned specific tasks. Supply of weapons and ammunition for Western armored vehicles, technical maintenance and repair, training of crews and technical personnel, development of effective tactics for the use of armored vehicles on the battlefield. This is a very important initiative of our allies considering the existing issues in the armed forces of Ukraine with the repair of foreign-made armored vehicles. I hope that with the help of allies, we will be able to quickly, as much as possible, establish an effective repair base for Western armored vehicles in Ukraine. Havriliuk added, he clarified that within the coalition, a roadmap will be developed in line with the strategy for the development of the armed forces of Ukraine. It is expected that in the long term, coalition members will assist Ukraine in creating a fleet of vehicles and establishing industrial partnerships with our country. On March the 18th, Polish Defense Minister Vladislav Kosiniak Kamiz announced that his country, together with Germany, was forming an armored vehicle coalition for Ukraine. The official emphasized that this is one of the most important coalitions. It is worth noting that there are several other coalitions aimed at assisting Ukraine. These include the Aviation Coalition, Drone Coalition, Tank Coalition and others.